Quim could win. I think grand finals will be Clem Winga, dude. All right. We'll see. I mean, like, the problem is, is that I'm going against years of history with Bionic Fraud not getting uh -huh. higher than third. Yeah. Oh, no. It looks like okay. we're going straight into it. Uses the burst early so he can have it again later. Flame doing a really good job. You can tell he's an undernight player because he's totally cool hanging out at that half screen range yeah. and just abusing his gigantic you can, hands. Yeah, you can tell he's a Merkava player specifically. Like, he plays a surprisingly passive game in Guilty Gear. He's not really interested in going in super hard. No, he's he's safe. He's RS always. Virtually gets caught jumping back there. And now, by Fred has the corner. An unconventional way to get out, but what oh. I've seen before, gonna get the conversion, knows there's no burst. Oh, missed the kill. Oh, now it's just a matter meteors. of staying put long enough for the meteors. And that far S, that far S is, is the bane of my existence. I, basically, it's up there with like hot driver. For, <laughs> yeah. for beak driver, yeah. All right, gets in the corner, gets the meteors. Oh, for the Very gets fortuitous situation yes, for Faust. Pretty. Ooh. Gets black hole. He's not using he's not using crouch S enough just in the neutral. I think to work somebody into a spot where they're getting hit by that overhead. Oh. Oh. That was, yeah, I really, I really want to see Flame start using Crouch S because he could be getting the same setup, the same damage. There we, there we go. Oh, calls out the Grand Viper. All right, here's the punish. Again, insistent yep. on that Grand Viper. I feel like if he feels he's losing, he'll, he'll definitely pull it out. If he feels you're trying to move around on the ground too much, he'll use it a lot. Because things that like things that Vancouver players not terribly good at is doing those like micro dashes with the instant it was with the yeah, FD. Yeah. So there's a um, lot of commitment to forward dash. Just we should Actually, all I've stop that. Of late, uh, Stanley's really good at sort of that, that kind of movement, with, like forward dashes and then FD mm -hmm. back dash. I think it's an important part of the neutral, and I think it's yeah. something that like everybody here should work on. Oh yeah, to be good at this game. I'm hyped for Revelator. We have a release date finally. Uh, June. Yeah. Correct. So. So we're gonna be on that Street Fighter Five. We're gonna, gonna be oh, how to play this game. A couple more weeks before already. Street Fighter Five, and that's a worldwide simultaneous release, right? Like, honestly, there's pretty much no excuse anymore for you to not do that yeah. with your fighting game. All right. Ooh. Oh. Yes, with the reversal super, gonna make him guess, and of course he doesn't guess right. That was, I don't even think an effort was made. To no, get I think you just accepted it. Which is weird, because I've been, the last four times I've been hit with this super, the person's gone crazy, and I've still got the angel. Like, <laughs> nice. like you're playing a different game, and you have to be prepared to take the L, uh -huh. but, like, come on, try to play the game. Yeah. Give it a good you benefit so much if you guess right. It's one of the only games that it's like, it's one of the only supers where you confirm into it and you can still get bodied, so. Yep. All right. Oh. oh. No dust loop. But keeps the pressure going. He has a very comfortable situation for himself right now. But nice air nice throw. throw and now he has the corner. He gets the overhead reset. He was doing Knocked so down. good blocking those. I wonder oh. what's changed about the situation. You got to make Bionic Fraud respect you. Oh, I want to see item super. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. That 5K is just, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's still You're such a good, good normal. He was after the meter. He was after the meter. Oh, all right. This should be. Oh, no. Oh, golly. Okay. Five frame startup, but that must have. That could have ended poorly with that whip. IADS. Nice. Gets out of the bomb situation. Gets in the corner. Gets his knockdown. Just not behind a lot of the OG timings. He's got the dust loop this time. Gets knocked down. Ooh. Is he trying to bait something there? 
I think he's worried about Faust Dust, maybe? But I don't... All right. Ooh. Hitbox. Oh, good conversion on the trade. Well done. No. Oh, Faust isn't like a super high damage character to begin with, and Clem, he doesn't have. Oh, oh there we go. So he doesn't have that attitude of like being hungry for the damage either. Like yeah, he'll yeah. take the damage that he gets, but he's very passive. And just like that, he's, I mean, he's, up one -one. he's passive in like an active way. Like he, he moves around a lot, but he doesn't push his luck a lot. True. Which I mean, perfect character for it. You don't really have to be so committal when you're playing yeah. Faust. Heading into game three here. <laughs> Stanley <laughs> showing his disapproval for this set. <laughs> Waiting to face whoever he faces and loses. And here we go. Claim off to an early series with good pressure in the corner. I, I, imagine, I imagine Stanley's still upset at himself for <laughs> losing to Claim. By chance, no clue he played in that game? Uh, he played Sin, and then I think he switched to Melia later. Uh, I think we should probably just stick with uh, Melia. Yeah, truthfully, I, th I think so too. Like, I think his May is actually better than his Sin. Than his Sin? But, but it maybe it kind of evens out on the virtue of the fact that Sin is just a better character than May. It must, it must be a matchup thing. Probably, um, yeah. it's like, and I'm not accusing myself of doing optimal Sin stuff either. Uh -huh. But like, there was really a lack of like the intricate knowledge of Sin's super high damage. Stuff. Which he has. Um, he does some, some big boy damage. He does a lot of big boy damage. Um, and he does more damage than Stanley was doing for not a ton of more effort than Stanley was putting in. Mm. So I think that it's really just like he's purpose learned Sin to counter a certain situation. And while we've been rambling on about Sin, Bionic Fry takes the first round. He might be sitting pretty in the grand finals. He takes a couple more rounds. I really want to see. I really want to see Fry like be a little bit more aggressive when he's got the knockdown. He's gonna get hit by the meteors. Oh, just out of range. I imagine that's gotta be a frustration when you're a fast player. You sort of like just live and die by the items. I think that it's a lot. Oh, and he gets to, a cross under there. That was sick. Using that black hole to full advantage. Ah, uh, you can do a lot more damage with black hole. I don't know, but just for that like little mix-up situation, it's really nice. I know there are like weird two quick cancels where you just do them over and over again. It's pretty sick. There's that. You can. There's also a setup where you can do like dust, jump dust, like four times in a row. There's the round. It, uh, this is three out of five, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, because we are in winners finals. So I'm not sure if it's the case in this game, but I know in uh, the older Guilty Gear games, fast items weren't actually random. They were, I believe, matching the timer, yeah, uh, they the were second based edition on the second of the timer. timer. Um, so I mean, theoretically, <laughs> you were amazing at controlling the situations you were in. You could, like, sort of glance at the timer and have a good idea of what item you were going to get. I'm not sure if anyone actually did, probably not. But it's interesting. I, I would like to know if it's the same case in this game. All right, well done on Bionic Fraud part to take the YRC to really remove the decision making of what direction Faust is coming from. Opens the door on him, gets All right. a good air throw. That's such a good, good, good matching move to the meter. Yeah. Okay, gonna probably. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't green the uh, fall as the bomb. Again. Flynn has been getting content. very, very Flynn fortunate with, with some items. high chip items, and Fraud has not been using FD to remove Ooh, the back dash. Profile, yeah. Good blitz. I mean, there's a, invincibility on back dashes in this uh -huh. game, and Faust is one of the lowest to the ground characters. Faust gets low. Yeah. And just like that, Klim brings it back, shows he's still fighting. 2-1 to Klim. Let's see what happens. I wonder what's changed. We don't We don't normally see Clem get this far. He does good. He does yeah. good. And he's he's a very he's a gate he's a gatekeeper mm. in Exert, it feels. 
Just gets do the it. Gets the yeah. dust All right. Good damage. No, oh, no, not down, down. But what? What's going on? Hey man, if you got that meter, spend it. Just see what they're doing. It's good sometimes. Could have just oh six out of button from that bomb. Oh, oh, just avoids that explosion. I think that's why he avoided doing the kick. Yeah. He didn't want to land on the explosion. I mean, Quinn's got an uphill battle to climb. Yeah, and that was a very confident stand block. Yeah. So and we're starting ooh. to see we're starting to see a couple two H there because ooh, oh, the oil, oil slick slowing down that dash. Why I see Fafnir takes it. Truly, that is the brick in your face. <laughs> in this game. All right, oh, black oh, hole. Oh, do we have those? Oh, stop oh, air teching. <laughs> so Reset's Faust grenade. gets almost no damage off of that. <laughs> yeah. Kept air teching. Oh, kept getting those opens the door out to his own spring. Oh, just that counter hit. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Does he get the knockdown? No. Nope. Oh, no, he doesn't. No, he did the ground. He got the ground bounce earlier, so the. Uh, DP didn't pop him up as high. Just like that, I feel like Bionic Frog been playing a far more aggressive game, and it's paying off for him. He's close to taking the second game. I feel like he alternates between playing very passively and playing very aggressively. And when he's playing aggressively, yeah, he's like clearly playing. one of those things is working. It's like <laughs> what I need to see is I need to see him switch on the juice and just not switch it off. Yeah, just. And I know he can do it. Turn the ignition on. He, he's got, break the key off. He's got too much, he's got too much respect for Klim right now. Yeah, I don't know why. Just let him and know. We, we haven't seen Klim do a wake up dust. We haven't seen Klim just like toss out super. Yeah, that, the absence of wake up dust is another big another thing. Because that's like one of Faust's best wake up options. Yeah, which is weird. Like, it feels like Eric is respecting it even though we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. It's, because sort of I think game. that has something to do with the part that a lot of his approaches are air approaches, uh -huh. so that the dust won't, if it hits, get yeah. the launch in the... Ooh, Fafnir just whipping there. He needs to get in there. You let Quinn build this space. That's his game he wants to play. Oh, oh we got here this. we go. Nice. That's Neither of these gentlemen know. Oh, are Ooh, we going to see? Do we have those? Ooh, the damage. So dirty. Clem with the combo of his own. Don't, gets a trade. Don't lose that game after that. Ooh. Rod. Oh, oh. And just like that. All right, no, it's not over yet. Here's the mix up. No, oh, no, just pressure. Oh, and runs, runs right into it. Right into it. Would have been a perfect opportunity for that dash forward micro FD. So, so one thing I noticed watching Crossy Fastings yesterday, and it's something I feel we should adopt, is just someone needs an air horn app, and any time danger, danger time happens, just let it go on any hit. Because I feel like that should just be part of the game. It, it, it's, asking, <laughs> it's asking for that, like, bug excitement. Burr, burr, burr. That, like, real, that real goon hype. Yeah. We got a pretty right. even game so far. Oh, gets a good burst. Nice. Just keeping him out. All right. Really solid. He's he's oh, afraid right now, hole. and the fear is in his head. Oh, and super zap Fafnir. He never tries. He just moved it once. My dude, pick something. I, I think there's got to be there's got to be some sort of like understanding uh -huh. previous to this that you just don't. That it's you like don't. Some weird Smash thing where like shit players agree not to chain grab each other. That shit's weak. You use everything you're given. <laughs> oh, and Bionic Fraud looking oh. to make this competitive. A good series there. That looks like an Aaron Tim post. Nice. Gets the air throw. Gunpoint YRC. Ooh, unfortunately runs Got right into done. a throw. All and right, Clem so takes it. Clem sitting pretty in grand finals. In the grand finals. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so we've got now Milia Milia. Everyone wanted to see this. Everyone's gonna get to see it. I like that they're up there, they're laughing, they know. Alrighty, we got loser semi.